Do you have any batteries? No, but I've got these lemons. Wow. Today we're going to create an electrical battery out of a lemon. We're going to use lemon batteries to power some LED lights. This kind of battery is called a voltaic cell. It changes chemical energy into electrical energy, almost like the batteries you use at home. But more fruity. So to make our lemon battery and power these lights, here's what you'll need. Four to five large lemons, zinc nails, pennies, some LEDs, lead wires with alligator clips, and a voltage meter. So you're going to insert a penny into the cut on one side of a lemon. Come on, Julia. You, that's a... <laughs> I'm... Yeah! Then take a zinc nail and put it into the other side. And make sure they don't touch. That's not good. Very important, very important. So there we go. Ta-da! So the nail and the penny are electrodes. Electrodes are the channels which allow the electric current to enter and leave each lemon. The juice in the lemon is the electrolyte, which allows voltaic cells to conduct electricity. Electrolyte fluid can be a base, salt, or in this case, acid. Using your wires with alligator clips, you're gonna connect the voltage meter to see how much voltage it's giving off right now. Beautiful. Nice. Clip that on there. We'll see what we got. Ready? Ooh, not bad. Ooh. That's a pretty good amount of voltage. The that AA one. battery is about one and a half volts. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> it's not going to be enough to power our LED, though. No. So what do we do? More lemons. Let's get stabbing. Ugh, take that lemon. Connect them with a metal wire from positive to negative, or a penny, positive to nail, negative, to add the voltage from each cell. Each lemon is one cell. This works because of chemical reactions inside of the lemon. So what's happening in here is when the zinc comes in contact with the acid of the lemon, it begins a chemical reaction, oxidation, which is kind of like rust when it hits oxygen. Once wired together, the electrons are going to be pulled from the zinc through the wire and into the copper through a circuit. It doesn't have to be zinc or copper, by the way. Other metals are going to work too, like nickel and cadmium, which maybe you've seen in regular batteries. One metal has to give away electrons. The other one has to pick them up. So now we've wired up all our lemons. How many we got? Mm, nine? nine. Great. This should work. Here's your negative. Okay. 4.5, 4 4.94, that's awesome and should be more than enough. Take your LED and figure out the positive and negative. Moment of truth. Yay! Oh, it works! We're doing this with lemons. And a few other things. Okay, so we can light an LED, but what else can we power with lemons? Let's try a clock, intern Tori. Thank you, clock. So obviously take the battery out, figure out which one's the positive and the negative, because we've right. got those here. All right, this one is our negative. Great, let's touch the positive one there. Right, and hey, hey, all right. Awesome, and that's not the right time. Not even close, nope. actually. So but it's powered. Lemons yeah. are cool. I didn't know you could power all this stuff with lemons. How many lemons do you think it would take to like power my laptop? Ooh, I've got a lot, a lot more than we got right now. But speaking of computers, if you're getting a new computer, having Intel inside makes for better experiences outside. Intel creates the breakthrough technologies that make amazing experiences possible. Intel drives innovation with products like processors, wearables, and IoT devices, and within data centers in the PC and beyond. Thanks for watching DNews Labs, everybody. Go ahead and try this out at home and let us know what foods you use, maybe even what metals, if you've got other ones. Try and make a battery, let us know. And make sure you subscribe for more DNews Labs and DNews every day. Mm -hmm. Lemons! Lemons.